Ben McKee, Patrick Brown, Monday of South Carolina week, and Patrick straight and to the point, this is a very, very important week for Tennessee football. Yeah, if Tennessee loses this game against South Carolina as a home favorite, like an 11 and a half point favorite too, at night, going into open day, it's going to be real grumpy around here. Real grumpy. <laughs> real, real grumpy. We just got done speaking to Josh Heifel. Uh, he was not grumpy. Uh, no. did address a, a couple of different things. We'll start with Joe Milton. There was a photo surfacing on the interwebs of, of him at the, at the doctor's office, I guess. Uh, and Josh Heifel said that that's somewhat routine. Joe's fine, and, and he anticipates him being ready to go uh, Saturday. But a little odd because he did take that weird hit on uh, Saturday right. afternoon. Right. We started with some negativity, so let's bring some positivity. Everything seems to be okay with Joe Milton. Obviously, he said uh, after the game that it freaked him out at first, the way he got bent over awkwardly. He did come out of the halftime locker room with, a, I think, a sleeve on his left knee. And uh, like, like you said, Ben, Josh Heupel said that they kind of do things standard, like, uh, you know, get MRIs, check guys out further with some of the diagnostics, uh, the setup they have inside uh, of, the, of the complex here. So pretty routine stuff, and, and looks like Joe is, A, escaped a potentially bad injury, which it looked really bad when it happened, but, uh, and B, it looks like he'll be okay to go this week. Yeah, and I'm sure that Joe, if he was going to speak publicly this week, that he would not come out and say it. But I imagine for him personally, there's some motivation uh, to, to kind of redeem the Hendon Hooker story mm -hmm. with, with what happened last year in Columbia uh, and the team as a whole. They, they, they're not going to say it. I asked Bryson Easton about it, and he said it's, it's the biggest game because it's the next game. That, that's going to be the line from Tennessee this week. Josh Heupel talked about how last year they competed harder than them. They out physical them. Uh, it, it was a big learning mm -hmm. moment for the program as a whole. But... This Saturday has nothing to do with last Saturday, or last year's game in South Carolina. Yeah, and I, I would expect and I would hope for Tennessee that they, they what they say publicly is not what they're doing privately because, I mean, this team ended your you – know, you had a chance at a national championship going into the last two games of the last season, and, and this team outplayed you and ended your hopes. Uh, and obviously for Joe there is the, the personal – on a personal level wanting to probably go out and win one for Hendon because that's the game he got hurt in. I mean, I'm sure that's just human nature on his part, but – uh, they're going to downplay it publicly this week. I don't think they're going to come out and say, yeah, we're going to really going to revenge if we're going to we want to beat them by 40, anything like that. Um, but I would think that 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 emotion of, of revenge is probably permeating not only through the players, but also should be through the fans, too. I mean, that, that you know, J J Heupel said that they needed, you know, that they need Nealon to be loud. And they need the fans to impact this football game. He expected that they will. Yeah, absolutely. And obviously you don't want to make the moment bigger right. than it is because then you start to get outside of yourself and, and, and get out of your normal tendencies. Uh, speaking of this game on Saturday night, it feels like uh, the, the biggest item on the to-do list is to try and slow down Spencer Rattler, who obviously had a big game against Tennessee last year, and he's been playing some terrific football these first four football games for South Carolina. Maybe not a ton of help around him throwing to a, a former quarterback and, and handing the football off to another former quarterback, uh, but himself individually has been playing terrific football. Started the other game the other night against Mississippi State, 16 of 16. Yeah, Ben, he finished, I think, 18 of 20. Uh, he's going to test Tennessee more down the field. Uh, obviously, Florida didn't throw any passes further than 20 yards down the field. I don't think UTSA threw very many either. Um, so that's going to be different for Tennessee's secondary. But Hypo stressed that this is going to be big for the line of scrimmage. You know, uh, I don't think South Carolina has a great running game. I don't think their offensive line is great, which makes what Rattler is doing even more impressive. But uh, they've got to be able to contain him and keep him from extending plays, making some plays with his legs. And uh, when he does get outside the pocket, they have to match up better in the secondary and not turn guys loose like they did. Some, sometimes against Florida, we saw Graham Mertz extend plays, and that kind of happened too. So that can't happen against Rattler. He's, he's hot right now, and they got to find a way to, to cool him down some way or the other with the team, with the defense, and, and with the atmosphere as well. Absolutely. It's a big week for Tennessee football, a week that will likely, likely dictate how the rest of the season goes in my opinion. And we will have plenty of coverage all week long up at GoVols247.com. He's Patrick Brown. I'm Ben McKee.